Okay, so model drawing. Model drawing is incredibly difficult for kids the first time they do it. And so when they do model drawing, I always tell them, okay, you're gonna fail, but let's just look at some samples. So I even pull up on um, Google images like a model drawing of the planet system and a model drawing of like the skeletal system, things like that, that is scientific models that are reduced down on a page with labels. So the first few times they model draw, they pretty much are unsuccessful. Where they become better is when we do a scientist circle, we collaborate and we agree on what we do with those model drawings. And I'll go over my science circles in a little bit. But what ends up happening is after you've done model drawing for a while, you'll see that students are able to do it. Now, because I teach five classes, this was our initial models for thermal energy. So every class came up with problems and solutions. And I'll tell you, there's a lot of misconceptions on the model drawing on what they think they need to do, but you kind of want that in lesson one. This was lesson one. And what ends up happening is in these model drawings, you can see kids are, there's lots of questions we put off to the side. So these are, I, have four, I teach it five times. So these are each of my classes. And each of my classes have very different model drawings that we work together to go through. Some are way more in depth than others on their drawings. And that's okay because as you go through the units, you're gonna guide them towards the answers. Again, you're gonna guide them. And so it's okay all these misconceptions that happen at the beginning. And, and encourage the, okay, do you agree or disagree? If you don't agree, why? Disagree, why? I do the model drawings and then I have the kids actually copy this word exactly what we agree in their journal or their science notebook. We call it a geo journal. I have them put it in there so we can refer to it and see that progression. And um, over time we update it. So every time we do a new science circle, a circle or we knew and learn a new fact, we put a new piece of paper up and these large post-it notes are wonderful. And we actually, I'll put the old one next to the new one and we look and see okay do we still agree with this concept okay I'll, we'll draw it did we learn something new that we need to change and we go back and forth and throughout all the units you might have oh three to five um, science circles on a large unit um, one to two on a smaller unit showing their growth of learning and so when you get to the end and you get to the end of the unit and you're in your final lesson, you show where they started and what they learned and they realized how much they'd learned in that period of time. So coming up with an initial model, working together, and then each time tweaking it as much as your group can is a great way and I love those discussions. I know Open Syed sometimes only does 15 minutes, but my kids get so into it, it can end up taking a whole hour. That's up to you how you do it. That's what I find successful.